Welcome back everyone. Are you looking to sign up your kid for a fun summer camp? If so, we have just the thing for you down at Balloon Fiesta Park from Frisbee golf and archery to pickleball, biking and so much more. Summer Adventure Camp has something for everyone. We're joined this morning by Jessica Campbell to discuss everything that Summer Fun Camp has to offer. Good morning, Jessica. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. I know a lot of parents out there are thinking, how can I keep these kids busy? Right, exactly. This is a great way, especially, you know, keeping them active as well. So let's talk about the Summer Adventure Camps that are going on. Yeah, so we're really excited with restrictions being lifted across the state. We got to bring back our summer adventure camps at Balloon Fiesta Park. These are for kids ages 11 to 17, and they get to mm -hmm. come and have a full day f full of adventure um, and activities that maybe they don't typically get to do. I like it. Okay, so typically a lot of times we see a lot of these uh, summer camps and even spring camps being for the younger group. This is the Correct. elder group that you guys are really targeting. Yeah, and that's because we're doing some more involved activities. So frisbee golf, archery, uh, mountain biking, activities that are you know better for a little bit older of a child. Absolutely. So let's talk about some of these events. I know we have them listed on our screen mm -hmm. here. Um, let's talk about the different varieties that you have to offer. Yeah, so we'll be doing some hiking, archery, mountain biking, frisbee golf, um, and really so much more. There's just going to be a ton of fun packed into that week. When you say mountain biking, mm -hmm. I know it starts at Balloon Fiesta Park. Do they have to meet other places to do this activity? So we actually have an awesome mountain biking course that we just installed at Balloon Fiesta Park. Great. Yes, yeah, so you heard it here first. We haven't really talked about it too much, but we're putting that in and kind of hoping that it can be a place for people to learn how to mountain bike. Wow, who knew? There you go. Now you guys know, right? Um, I, I like that. Uh, frisbee golf, not an easy task. No. Is this something you guys are going to be teaching? Yes, and we have a great crew over at Parks and Rec who will be able to teach the kids how to do frisbee golf and all these other fun activities. Okay, so let's get down to the nitty gritty. Parents are wondering, how do I get my kids signed up? Yes, yeah, so head on over to play.cabq.gov and that's that's going to be where you can register for this camp plus all of the other camps that the city has to offer. We do still have spots available at several of our summer programs. Yeah, we were just talking about that mm -hmm. right now. So some of the programs for the younger groups, because I know this one starts yes. at 11. So our programs at community centers, we have spots available at almost every community center. Um, we also do just now have about a thousand more spots for swimming lessons with the restrictions being lifted. So if you're still looking to get your kids in swimming lessons this year, we have a bunch of new open spots. Yeah, get out there and get active, yeah. right? Um, so we talked about the ages. Uh, we talked about the, the dates when it starts. Let's talk about the fee. Yes, so it is going to be a $150 registration fee, and it's a week-long camp and a uh, full day, so from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., um, and we're going to be starting next week with our first camp. There'll be a second camp the third week of July, and then the last camp will be the fourth week of July. Give us your website. It's going to be play.cabq.gov or cabq.gov slash parks and rec. Perfect. Some great uh, information for all the parents at home. You want to get those kids active, this is the way to do it. For more details, go to our website, alwaysonkrqa.com. We'll be right back.